ladies and gentlemen, let's show gaming video. We're going to be discussing the Xbox One's cloud. I'm sure many of you are aware that it is, of course, powered by Microsoft's Azure technology. And many are already citing it's going to be instrumental in Microsoft's plans for the Xbox. So what do developers have to say? Well, one developer by the name of... Hidaka Suhiro, hopefully I pronounced that correctly, also known as Swery, and uh, that's S-W-E-R-Y. He's commented on this, and he has um, said, and I quote, I think that as the infrastructure evolves, that the time may come when most resources and processes can be handled by the cloud. Also, if we developers continue to update the cloud as opposed to retail goods, then it should be possible for us to continue to provide users with new features. If that happens, then as a creator, there will be more and more things I'd like to... Uh-oh. Uh I just don't have enough time or hands on to do it all. What, what do I have to do? He also feels very strongly that he would like it to revolutionize technology. He believes that it would be pretty awesome if it was to create a new revolution of technology, for example, the way tablet PCs, cell phones, portable audio players, wireless controllers, and of course, even the mouse and the keyboard have managed to do. He believes it will, and I quote, change lifestyles over the next few years. Um, it's hard to know just how big of a deal this is going to be. All developers have different opinions on the cloud but my personal opinion is i do really like it as i've said previously azure technology um constantly ranks as one of the fastest cloud-based services that actually beat out not only amazon's uh compute services but also um rack space and they've invested a lot of money into this but even so uh, microsoft's technology is pretty damn impressive and as I've said in another video, it has many benefits, including the ability to quickly start up a server to and then stop that server as needed, which of course saves a lot of money for developers. You can also do things such as, for example, um, push for cloud-based AI. You can do things such as being able to spin up a server for simply multiplayer purposes, in other words, for example, uh, dedicated multiplayer hosting, being able to deliver to content, a CDN, for example, content delivery network, and much more. We know developers such as the ones behind Titanfall, they are definitely going to be pushing it. With Respawn Entertainment firmly on the cloud bandwagon, I wouldn't be surprised if this next generation of systems is definitely going to start to push more towards the cloud. Obviously, there are problems with it, primarily to do with things which have to sync to a certain frame of animation. I don't necessarily agree that we're going to see this perfect utopia anytime soon. But what I do think is that certain titles are definitely going to lend themselves extraordinarily well to the cloud. And I honestly believe that after a series of... Um, let's go with tweaks from developers as they get used to it, as they become more fluent with the uh, deployment processes and so on. It's going to become a lot more of a simple process than what it is now. I also think that we're going to start to understand what the lim limitations are. And remember, just because you... Uh, in the country that you reside may have a really good internet connection or conversely the opposite and you may have a really bad one doesn't mean that's the same for everyone and that's the only problem at the moment the cloud um, for example I sitting in England right now I'm sitting on a 120 MB connection which is pretty damn fast that means I could download for example at 15 16 megabytes per second which is pretty damn impressive for example if I'm downloading a Steam game but on the other hand, I'm certainly not in the majority. Most people in England have far slower connections. And England, as an average internet connection region, is faster than a lot of areas. Obviously, you have certain countries, for example, Sweden, which have ridiculously fast internet. But And the same with the States. Some areas of the United States, very fast. Other areas, which are more rural not so fast and that's nothing to do with you know anything other than it's simply very difficult in an area for example as large as the united states to be able to deliver infrastructure so evenly i have a feeling that however we are going to definitely see an emergence of cloud-based technology i'm not necessarily sure that we are going to 
shove all of the processing off to the cloud. But I guess all we can do is wait and see. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.